Yo guys, JBR Tech here and today I'm doing a review of the RK71 keyboard by Royal Clutch. And what makes this keyboard stand out from other budget keyboards is that this one has a lot of media keys dedicated for Mac users. And on my previous video of this, when I look, took a look over this keyboard, I mainly focus on the lights and the effects and the different blows and whistles that this keyboard has. But on this video, I'm gonna be focusing more on the actual typing experience and the overall experience of owning this keyboard for a few weeks. Now, first of all, we're gonna start out with the cons because in my personal opinion, I think cons are more important than the pros because anything that we purchase in Amazon online or on the store, we have a reason for buying it. We know why we want it, but there are always those deal breakers that just pop up I don't know we're after using it for a while and those are the little things that can affect whether we really enjoy and continue using a product or not so that's why i'm starting with the cons now the first con is that it is loud i'm talking about literally a loud keyboard so as you guys can see yeah this keyboard is pretty loud, so just make sure whenever you're using it, whether it's a roommate, a spouse, your mate, whoever is in the room with you, warn them beforehand. And just make sure you get all your work done before it gets late at night, because no one ain't sleeping with that noise. Con number two, it's related with the build quality, and that is the actual keys, the paint job on the keys themselves. Have this cheap paint that just scratches easily. For example, I took out all the keys and put some rings in between the switcher and the actual keys themselves to cushion a little bit the impact while typing, which by the way, it does help a little bit. It makes the loudness a little bit endurable, but it's still a loud keyboard. And I also customized some of the keys that I mostly use, such as the escape key, the S key, which actually is a shortcut for the Mac keyboard on this RK71 and the arrow keys i changed them up to an orange color i wanted to do something like lively and colorful and very original it actually looks good but unfortunately on the process of removing the keys i ended up scarring you know scratching some of the keys so this is probably 99 percent user error if i had the right tool for the job and if i was careful i would probably avoid scratching the keys but i'm just letting you know my experience they do scratch and the third con is that about the sleep mode the keyboard does go to sleep very quickly and actually it's programmed to sleep in around three minutes personally i think that's a little too short i just wish we had like a software or something that we could adjust the actual time that it slept because speaking of which the battery life is pretty good on the keyboard i could go a full week without charging or even needing to charge and it types just as responsive as with 100% juice. Battery is not the issue, so I wonder why the sleep time is so short. So personally, I just wish we could have a way to adjusting the sleep time. And some other cons that are not as important, it's just basically nitpicking from now on. You know, for example, like the some of the media keys and hotkeys are not illuminated. Those labels are actually printed on, on the keys themselves. And I just wish they were all illuminated, you know, so at night you could actually see the volume keys, the play button hotkeys, or to do the mission control. You know, if you use this keyboard for a long time, you'll probably get used to where all the keys are. But then again, it's just something to keep in mind. Maybe that's a deal breaker for you. Another minor rant, and this is actually too much of a minor rant because I know this is a budget keyboard, it's very cheap. But complaining about some of the keys that look misaligned and that has to do with the little play that the keys have in between they kind of have a little play a little wiggle room in there that causes some of the keys to look misaligned but you could actually strengthen them up with your fingers that's just nitpicking you know it's a cheap key but we can't expect much lastly this might be a deal breaker for some of you with tiny hands and that is the height of the keyboard yes it's pretty tall, it's big, it's thick, it's bulky and heavy, 
but that comes with the territory. Mechanical keyboards usually are bulky. Most of you deal with that by getting a cushion or a mat for your hands. Personally, I don't need it, so it's not really a con for me, but I'm just letting you know, possibly some of you might have a problem with that. Other than that, we got pros, a lot of pros about the keyboard. Uh, this keyboard is really comfortable to type on. Of course, being a mechanical keyboard with blue switches, it's just very responsive and fast. Well, that comes at a price of being loud, but it's fast. If you're looking for speed, this is the keyboard to get. Speaking of speed, my typing words per minute went from 65 words per minute all the way up to 80 words per minute. That is a huge increase just from switching from the regular chiclet tablet, ta blah, 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 blah. chiclet, you know, keys to mechanical keys. So there is a huge difference. Now, if you're a gamer, you might want to plug it into the USB cable and it actually turns the keyboard into a USB keyboard. So then you won't have to worry about any input lag. But personally, for my typing, I have not found any input lag whatsoever. And if there is, it's not distracting at all. And then we got the hot media keys that unfortunately don't have any illumination, but they are there. We have all the media keys that we need for Mac, such as Expose, the launch pad, we have the volume rockers and the media player keys. And of course, another pro that's really nice is that it's not a bad looking keyboard. For such a cheap keyboard, you know, especially with the white theme, you could actually mix, mix and match some of the keys and colors to change out the whole theme of your desk. And it just looks really nice on a clean, minimalistic desk. And finally, for the price, it's actually pretty good. It's not terrible and it's not great. And the reason why I say it's just okay, it's good, is because for a few more dollars, maybe 10, 15 dollars more, you could get the Keychron keyboard, which is very popular, highly praised in YouTube. But again, if you don't have that budget, this keyboard will do just fine. So that's it guys. That is my overall thought on the RK71 keyboard. It's just an awesome, budget-friendly, good-looking keyboard that being a loud one. If you guys enjoyed this review, I would really appreciate your thumbs up. Just take once, it only takes you like one second, one click to hit that little thumbs up. The thumbs up will do just fine as well. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.